Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Uh, so in the last episode I did mention about uh, briefly touching on Jest uh, framework. Um, I don't want it to go uh, too deep uh, in this session because uh, it's a bit complex topic and um, as you know that I haven't covered uh, LWC fully so I will uh, cover Jest in detail but for now uh, it's just a very simple test case for uh, this component and uh, uh, this one. Uh, so uh, this is <clears throat> just to save time. I've already created this one. And you must be thinking, oh, that's too much of stuff, right? So I'll go through uh, with you uh, what each one means, right? So the main idea is to mock your um, LWC component, right? So obviously, like you do in Apex, right, you need to have a mock. Uh, to test a certain part of the code. So now obviously syntax is a bit different compared to Apex. So uh, this syntax are pretty much the same, the create element, uh, which actually responsible for creating this uh, instance of this, the, the contact component, which is your LWC component. And then the contact component is a component which you uh, built. Um, that is this one, yeah. And register to uh, test wire adapter right from this uh, just framework. Uh, that is just to mock the get wire adapter, right? Obviously, uh, you need to see see the get wire, right? So the get record, um, which um, is responsible for get, retrieving the data from uh, the Salesforce, right? Now, <clears throat> obviously, in the test, you need to have a mock data. So how do you do that? You can, <clears throat> excuse me. You can mock the data using this register uh, twist. Sorry, register LDS test wire adapter. And so that will do the job for you. Then that's exactly what I'm, yeah. So this is register test wire adapter for the get record. So that's, uh, it, it's doing it here. Um, now we are using describe and uh, it. Now you must be wondering what the heck is describe, right? So describe in simple terms, right? It breaks your test suit, which is your test class, into components, right? Um, so in this case, you know, you we have described for uh, just for one uh, for um, for one uh, method. In some case, what do you have? You have described for each function in a class, or I would say each module of your plugin or each user fa facing um, interface. Um, you can also use uh, nest describe to further subdivide the suit, but I don't want to get into that. So for now, just just remember this: uh, describe used to break your test suit into components, right? And now, what is it, right? It's where you perform individual tests, right? It's like your methods which you use, right? In Apex, you have separate methods, so <clears throat> uh, similarly. You have this, okay? Now, this is a very simple syntax here. So as you can see, now I have one describe and this enclosed, in this describe, I've enclosed three uh, three methods, right? And now this is like IT, it's like, uh, or simple, how do I say it to make it very simple? Think about a class, right? Describe is like a class and it are its methods, you know, if that helps to um if that helps to replicate that image in your brain right to understand now here uh, the it's it's a simple test now each method what this method is supposed to do <clears throat> this is an error function i'm creating an element i'm passing a record id so i'm pending uh um the body in the dom and then i'm passing the, the dummy data and i'm expecting that data back uh, using a query selector. That's pretty much it. And this is what happens when the error happens, right? So yeah, so th that's that's a very simple test. So uh, we, we deal with the elements of which is uh, part of this create element, so which returns some uh, value back. And yeah, we try to append it and we try to mock it and then we get the error. Nothing fancy here. Um, and if you haven't installed the Jest, you need to install the Jest. And um, uh, let me, sh uh, 
new terminal. I think I'll put in the uh, description below the link to install the jest. It's pretty, it's pretty simple to do that, right? And then, um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much what I wanted to talk. I do understand this seems, seems pretty simple, and you must be thinking this guy didn't explain much at all. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys how the jest looks like, uh, but. I can assure you that I will talk about just in detail when we reach to a bit advanced stage. At this stage, just remember that we have something called Jest, and using which you can write your uh, LWC unit test, right? And we have we mostly deal with describing it, right? And then uh, create element which is responsible for creating an instance of your LWC component so that you can play around with it, right? So that's in a nutshell what you can do with the Jest component. Um, it is more used in other frameworks run like react and they use Jest as well, right? So um, It's it's not sort of something, you know, which is very new, but uh, If you want you can read the documentation if you're curious, but I will cover it in the latest stage anyway So that's pretty much I wanted to cover. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you guys have an amazing uh, Monday. Adios